continues to grow in Rancho Cordova. The items were left in honor of a teenage girl who was hit and killed by a light rail train after school yesterday. Regional Transit said she was wearing earbuds at the time and she may have been distracted. Still many in Rancho Cordova in the community are asking if more safety measures are needed at the White Rock neighborhood crossing. KCRA3's Brian Heap spent the day looking for those answers. Friends and classmates of 15-year-old Mariah Burgess continue to pay their respects with candles, balloons, and messages on the ground. With every passing train at Folsom and Coloma, they are reminded of how quickly her life was taken. I walk here every day to school and back, and like most of the kids that come from school, like they don't stop when they see the train. They just go through. Now kids are having phones and all that stuff, so they're going to look down on their phone, and they're going to listen to music and walk them through here like it's nothing. Since Thursday's accident, community members, young and old, have been asking if more barriers or safety measures are needed at regional transit's only pedestrian crossing. It wasn't just put in there. Um, you know, all of the safeguards were considered, and um, the result is the crossing that we see today, and it is a safe crossing. Regional Transit spokeswoman Elaine Masui says the crossing was added in 2004 at the request of the community, and this is the first time anyone has been hit. There's no question lifestyles have changed over the last 10 years. We're all much more plugged in today. I have earbuds in listening to music right now, and I can tell you I can barely hear those bells. If not for the flashing red lights, I'd never know the train was coming. We're very sensitive to the community and what they feel, and so we definitely would take into consideration um, comments from the community. But as we see it, the crossing is safe. Before I come here, um, now I just take off my headphones and I cross and put down everything. A hard lesson, but perhaps the safest solution for now. In Rancho Cordova, Brian Heap, KCRA 3 News. Brian.